Hi, my name is Lucas, and I am going to be working through an ethical scenario. Um, the dilemma I'm facing is I've been hired to work a job. I need money. Another, When I show up for the job, uh, another interpreter shows up, and so now I have to basically think about how bad do I want this job and how uh, am I willing to fight for it. Um, some of the ethical uh, ethical issues that, that uh, pop to mind um, are old, like things like professionalism. Um, I want to make sure, regardless of the situation, that I act in as professional a manner as possible. Um, it's part of my job when you know, when I show up. I don't know really what I'm going to get, so uh, I need to make adjustments and and kind of roll with the punches as they come up, be flexible. I need to um, have respect for or uh, consider my uh, clients or the consumers, um, make sure that uh, no matter how I behave, uh, I behave ultimately in their best interests um, while acting professionally kind of ties in with, with professionalism. I also want to respect uh, my colleagues um, that could be the, the interpreting partner that I am with, uh, and it's also this other interpreter that, that is uh, shown up at the job site as well. We uh, hopefully will be able to work cooperatively um, and, and do the best we can uh, to see that the client gets, gets uh, what they need. Um, business practices also uh, ties in as an ethical concern. Because uh, we both have a right to that job, uh, we both have a right to make a living, um, and uh, hopefully we can make as informed decision as possible uh, when it comes to uh, any solutions that we come up with. Uh, the the major or the key players in uh, this scenario are uh, myself and my partner, the uh, treatment center that has hired us. Uh, the other interpreter and um, the uh, the employees and and uh, clients of the of the treatment center. Um, possible solutions uh, to uh, this ethical dilemma um, is one is you know, it can be you know as as simple as first come first serve. It uh, doesn't really fall into uh, professional behavior, but uh, kind of knee-jerk reaction is, hey, I showed up first, this is my job, uh, see you later. Um, I can, uh, I, I could technically back down and be like, well, we both got hired and uh, you got here, you, you got here first, um, or... Uh, Maybe you're better qualified or, or have, uh, the other interpreter anyway, has uh, um, a higher level uh, interpreting license than, or certi uh, certification than I do. Uh, so they, they would be able to uh, provide um, better services. Um, another solution, um, I think, would be to, uh, even though the, the, the weekend staff doesn't have any decision-making ability, they do have the ability to, to contact the, the administrative staff um, so we could all get our heads together, uh, all, all of the interpreters and all of the, or, or one or two members of the uh, treatment center staff, get a hold of um, an administrative staff member and see what it is they want. Um, and if that means I lose the job, I lose the job. Um, hopefully, uh, since two agencies were hired uh, apparently to do the same job it'll just be hey uh, you know work it out and we can work with the other interpreters uh, uh, interpreter and interpreters to um, you know take breaks uh, rotate in and out uh, and, and uh, see that uh, the consumer or the clients are uh, served in the best way possible uh, I think ultimately that would be the best decision uh, is work with uh, the uh, work with the administrative staff through the weekend workers and uh, work together with the other interpreters instead of against. 
uh, I think uh, I think that that is the best because uh, it shows that um, you know I can I can work in different situations under different types of pressure and I can do so professionally um, uh, and I can hopefully encourage uh, the others to do the same um, plus uh, most importantly uh, the consumer or the the deaf clients that are at the treatment center will get uh, served um, hopefully with the best interpreting services uh, available um, in the short term problem gets solved uh, and the, the client's needs get met. In the long term it can prove, improve uh, my rapport and relationships not only with uh, the treatment center staff but with uh, even the other interpreter. Um, that way on a potential future job we can work well together. Uh, hopefully the treatment center um, would be willing to hire me again uh, for, for any services in the future. Um, and hopefully there would be some, some feedback given to the agencies on um, how well uh, we handled the situation um, and uh, how swiftly and, and cooperatively we all worked uh, together. Um, and who knows, the other interpreter may uh, recommend me uh, as an interpreter for another, for another job in the future, even though we work for a different agency. Hey, here's hoping. Anyway, um, Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope that covers everything, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.